SOLIDWORKS Tutorial Creating a 3D Model of a Bracket Welcome to 3D Mechanical Design. In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial for beginners, we'll guide you through the process of creating a 3D model of a bracket using sheet metal tools. This practice session focuses on sheet meta and is perfect for those new to SOLIDWORKS. Let's dive in. Step-by-step -step guide. 1. Setting up the sketch. Start by selecting the appropriate plane for your sketch. Create a central rectangle with dimensions of 2.75 inches by 9 inches. Creating the base flange. Navigate to the sheet metal tools and select base flange. Set the parameters for the base flange. A thickness of 3 16 of an inch and a bend ratio of 0.5. Click OK to apply these settings. 3. Adding cutouts. Focus on the left side of your model where the 5 cutouts will be added. Begin by sketching the center line of cutout and shaping their profiles using tools such as circle, line, mirror entities, and trim. Add necessary dimensions to define your sketch accurately. Use the extruded cut feature to complete cutout. Four, using linear pattern. With the first cutout complete, utilize the linear pattern tool to replicate it four more times. Choose the direction for the pattern, set the length to 1.75 inches, and specify a quantity of 5. Click OK to finalize the pattern. Five, creating the second side. To form the second side of the bracket, use the sheet metal tool and select edge flange. Define the direction and set the flange length to 6 inches. Ensuring it is positioned at a 90 degree angle to the first plane. Click OK once you've set the flange position. Six, adding cutouts on the new side. On this new side, add three additional cutouts following a similar process. Sketch using circle, line, mirror entities, and trim tools.
7. Final Touches Apply fillets with a radius of 0.5 inches to smooth out edges as needed. Congratulations! You have successfully created a 3D model of a bracket in SolidWorks using sheet metal tools. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel for more beginner friendly SolidWorks content.